Now, Shazeb, the announcement by the Taliban banning women from attending university, was it a surprise? Uh, what's been happening now in response? Well, this did not come as a surprise to many in Afghanistan. For the past two months, there were rumors that the Taliban will take such a step. But for the women and girls in Afghanistan, this announcement came as the last nail in the coffin of their hopes and dreams. We saw, uh, yes, uh, we have been seeing a number of young Afghan women came out on the streets to protest against this ban in different parts of the country. Some were even arrested by the Taliban authorities only to be released later. Uh, we have been talking to female students for the past two days and each and where, uh, each and every one of them, while talking to us over the phone, broke down in tears. They believe that the current Taliban regime uh, is following in the footsteps of the previous regime in the 1990s, where women were completely banned from all walks of public life. The only difference this time is that these restrictions have come in one by one. Uh, as soon as the Taliban took power, uh, they excluded women from participating in politics. Uh, women uh, are no, no longer allowed to travel alone without a mehram, the local term for a male guardian. Last month, the Taliban regime also banned uh, the girls from parks, gardens, gyms, and public baths. And since uh, they have come into power, Afghan girls have been banned from middle and high school. And now they, are also, they have also been banned from attending universities. And now, as we've mentioned, there's been global outrage over this decision. The Taliban tried to justify it by saying that female students weren't respecting dress codes. How else have the Taliban been reacting? Well, the Taliban uh, Minister of Higher Education yesterday did a press conference in an attempt to justify the university ban uh, for girls. Uh, he, uh, the, the, the major point he said that, that uh, was that the female students were not adhering to the policies of proper and total hijab. He also said that some students were traveling to other provinces to study in the university and they were not accompanied by male guardians. One other point he used for the justification was that there was inadequate segregation in universities between male and female students. He also said that even if all these measures were taken, the only university subjects that female students can study are the ones that are culturally appropriate, which we assume are nursing and medicine. Many Afghan women now hope that the international community will put some kind of pressure on the Taliban. Many Muslim communities, many Muslim countries have already condemned this ban, including Pakistan, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia. But it is very hard to say that this uh, this kind of condemnations will have any impact on the Taliban leadership, especially their supreme leader, Habatullah Akhanzada, who has been in his public, who has uh, been saying in his public messages that they will not compromise on implementation of what they call the true form of Sharia law in Afghanistan. Now, uh, you mentioned there that one of the things they want to do is possibly limit what women can study if they do allow them back to the university. How likely at some point is that, that, that we can see uh, women returning to campus? Well, uh, it is very hard to say. Uh, for now, the Taliban has not given any deadline. The message that they have given out uh, or the notification that they have given out says that this ban is in, uh, in place until further announcement. Uh, uh, one other fact here is that uh, we have to see at, at, at how Taliban have been behaving on women education when it comes to the issue of women education. Since the past one, as I said earlier, since the past one and a half years, since they have come into power, uh, they have banned girls from going to high schools. And every time when we talk to the Taliban, uh, they tell us that uh, they tell us that it's a technical issue that they, that the, the girls' high school and middle school cannot be opened. Uh, so for now, uh, uh, it is not sure until when the Taliban are, are going to keep this uh, ban in place. Shazab, thanks so much for that update. That's France 24's regional correspondent, Shazab Wallah.